Have you ever met someone that was so excited about what Jesus did for them that they couldn't contain it? You know, one of those crazy Jesus people? Like, you'll never believe what Jesus did for me, right? You'll never believe what Jesus... Oh, God did something big in my life this week. Please don't, right? Mary went from this oppressed life, we don't know exactly what that oppressed life looked like, that internal oppressed life, to from that moment following Jesus closely. Everywhere you see Jesus, you now see Mary Magdalene. She becomes part of the inner circle of disciples. And here's the thing, here's the lie, here's the mistruth, here's the misunderstanding of history. There's another story where a woman comes in and she's, she, uh, she's a beautiful woman apparently and she picks this jar of alabaster perfume and ointment over Jesus' head and anoints him with oil and then she's weeping and she gets down at, her, at his feet and she starts washing Jesus' feet with her tears and it says this is a woman of a history of ill repute, that this woman, this woman has a history of prostitution. But she washes Jesus' feet with her tears. Somewhere along the line, scripture, that our story, maybe in preaching, maybe in misunderstanding, maybe in just bad translation, we said that that was Mary Magdalene. We don't think that that's Mary Magdalene. Scripture doesn't say that that's Mary Magdalene. Imagine for hundreds, if not thousands of years, the church thinking, oh, yeah, you were a prostitute. <laughs> Hmm, we kind of mislabeled someone, right? Have you heard that about Mary Magdalene?